This is the Red Wing Beekeeper, and today is May 26th, 2016. A couple days ago, I was at the high school where I teach, and the last hour of the day, the district office gave me a call and said there was a large swarm in the pine tree just outside the district office. So I was able to go out uh, later that, that afternoon, and the middle nook here that you see uh, is what I captured them in. It's pretty warm today. They're pretty active out here. And uh, today now what I'm going to plan on doing here in a few minutes is putting them in a regular sized hive box. And then I'm going to move them about six to eight miles away uh, where I have another hive at a friend's house. And that's kind of a weak hive. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is try to combine those two hives together. Lots of pollen, lots of comb drawn out here in just a couple of days, so that all looks really good. I'm not going to look very long. I, I don't see her here on this frame, but that doesn't mean she's not there. on that one. So, I'm going to set this up here so that they can just head right on into the new box. So again, we can see the ones that are left in the, in the nook box there. There's quite a few of them in there. Can you see them marching up there towards the entrance? There they go. They're heading right into the new hive. That's pretty cool. And you can see the ones in the new hive there. So I'm going to go ahead and there you go. You can, you can see them marching right on in. Look at that. In they go into the new hive. There's so many bees there, they're going to be a lot happier in that new hive. It's a lot larger. Okay. So I'm just going to put the top on this thing, and then we're going to take it over to my friends later tonight and merge it with that other hive. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we're going to, uh, first of all, we're going to take the cover off this hive. And I have a feeder box on here right now that I'm going to remove. So we're going to do that first. This is just an empty hive body here. I'll give these bees a little smoke to let them know I'm here. Okay. And uh, We're going to take this newspaper and we're going to put it over top of this hive that's down here and we're going to cut little slits in it so that the scents can come up through and kind of go back and forth. We're going to put the new hive on top of the newspaper and after a few days the scents will kind of intermingle, they'll get used to each other and hopefully they'll accept each other and they'll just merge into one hive. So that's my goal here. So let's get this uh, top off of here. Again, I'll give them a little smoke here to let them know that we're here. Okay. They don't seem too agitated at this point. Alright, so here comes the newspaper. I'm just going to lay this down right on top like this. Okay. And uh, we'll cut a cut a few small slits in it. 
between the frames here. And now I'll go ahead and try to merge these hives. Okay, well I gotta take this apart over here now. here may not be too happy. They just had a car ride and a little smoke here. Okay, here we go. It's okay if some of that newspaper sticks out. So we've got some bees here that need to go in. Shake those in. best we can anyway. Okay. Now we're going to put this right on top up here. I'm going to take this feeder off actually. Oh, wait a minute. That's right. I was going to put a couple of frames of honey in here. Let me see if I can do that. Put this one over here on the side. This one over here on this other side. Get all my bees off of there. Like I said, they're not real happy at the moment. Okay, and there we go. And here's the cover. All right, there. Now, hopefully we'll give it a couple of days here and, and uh, they should chew through that newspaper and then just kind of merge. There's lots of brood comb down in the bottom of this. Now I have some honey up here on top for some food and uh, hopefully they'll all be happy when we're all done. I'm gonna leave these here. These bees ought to find the entrance and head on into the hive here. Um, hopefully the queen's not on here. I guess I better look. And uh, assuming she's not there, we're going to call that a night.